Hi everyone and welcome to the VMD tutorials for beginners. Today we will learn together how to solvate a protein in a water box. So one of the most important steps in molecular dynamic simulation is to solvate your protein. So one of the most common solvents is water because most of the biological proteins are going to work in water. So as a first step in learning how to solvate proteins, we will start with a water box, the simplest case. And VMD can do that in a very simple way. So here I have a protein. So you're going to use it as a sample. And what you're going to do is you go for extensions, modeling, add a solvation box. And the first thing to do is to take this out because you're going to have uh, another uh, input. You're, you don't have only water box. You're going to have your input file, the protein structure file. I have it here and if you don't know what does PSF file means we have two videos one explain what is PSF file mean and one explain how to generate this PSF file from PDB file so if you know what does it mean so you get your coordination files your PDB and here's some option I, I will skip it with this video it's here you rotate your solvent molecules to minimize the solvent of the, 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 the size of the box and here you specify your output name. I will call it solvate protein. And this is not important. You, you append a segment name to your solvent molecules in your output. We'll call it WT water. And here the boundary 2.4 angstrom. This is the default value for VMD. It's, it shows you how the your solvent molecules we, we it, it will expand around your protein and here we're going to have the box size if you know if you have a specific size in your mind so say if you want to create a 100 cubic angstrom box so you're going to write here 50 and here you're going to write 50 here's your min max and here 50 50 and also in z coordinates so you're going to have 50 50 but if you don't know the the desired box dimensions you just say use my molecule dimensions and what vmd will do is will create a box uh, size based on your dimension the dimension of this protein so the bigger your protein the bigger your box is going to be and we're going to say solve it and it's working now and you can uh, track the progress from here it's creating and Solve it completed successfully. So let's check if it worked or not. So let's get rid of our protein and say new molecule and get my solve it protein. And the good thing also, it creates a PCA file for you. So you're ready to run your simulation. So I'll say load. Yeah, VMD crashed. So I have to restart it. So, yep, this is the problem of using VMD in Windows. You should um, skip to any Linux distribution. I just performing the tutorial in Windows because the program I record with works only with Windows. So here is it. Your protein is solvated. Let's represent it in a better way. Let's say representations not all but protein hit enter and make it new carton yep and another representation for water molecules you can write only water and you hit enter but it will not show you the waters because water cannot be represented in new carton uh, representation and i will make it in whatever let's say <laughs> that's so cool yeah, you see the water. Actually, VMD is not my favorite tool for protein solvation, but this is just to show you the concept of solvation. In next videos, we will learn more advanced tools. And also because uh, you don't know the dimension of your box and you need this for the simulation, so you can know it easily from the Tiki console, just like this, hit A. Atom select top all and I will say measure that's quite simple 
measure min max for a sorry i miswrote here measure min max yeah i have a problem i have to make space yeah here is my box dimensions so x y z minus x minus y minus z and x y z and you can also know the center because this is important when you prepare your configuration file for the simulation center yes this is my my center of the box the coordinates of the center of the box it's quite simple um, I'm just introducing the concept, but uh, in the next video, we will learn how to solve a protein in a water sphere and why we need to do it in a water sphere, not water box. And then we're going to go for the non-standard solvents like organic solvents or whatever. And for this case, we are not going to use VMD, of course. So thank you. And sorry, my voice is quite tired. And see you in the next video.